I'm Aaron Matus here with another D1 ticker, D1 Extra. Today we welcome in the athletic Miami beat reporter, Manny Navarro, to discuss the now open athletic director position for the Hurricanes. And Manny, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. And we're going to start right away with how fast do you think the Hurricanes need to move on this opening, given the current landscape in college athletics, which is obviously crazy, and then closer to home, given what's going on with football at Miami? Yeah, well, certainly there's two weeks left in the regular season, and National Signing Day, the early signing period, is less than a month away. And so if they're going to make a change at the uh, football coaching position, uh, then they need to they need to act swiftly here so they can get the next coach lined up to come in here. Uh, I think a big priority for Miami is making sure that some of the young players that they have on their roster, some of the guys who've really shined here this season, uh, quarterback Tyler Van Dyke among them, um, that those guys don't get uh, scared off by what's happening um, with the athletic program, that, they, that they're that they sticking around through the changes. And so I think, uh, you know, while Miami certainly wants to take its time and do a thorough job looking for the next athletic director, I also believe that they're going to try to act swiftly so that uh, if they make a change uh, with the head coach in football, they have that person uh, at the athletic director position to, to help make that call. A lot on the table right now with this hire. If they do go fast, do you see any scenario where they go with more of a Miami loyalist as opposed to maybe canvassing the country in a more traditional search? No, I think initially they're going to certainly try to canvass the country. You know, there are people who are interested that have Miami ties. I think Gino Toretta, former Heisman Trophy winner, who's had a lot of success in the business world, um, you know, hosts his own broad has his own broadcast company for games. Um, you know, he's a guy who's always sort of been interested in that job, uh, knowing Gino for many, many years. And I also think that, uh, you know, Alonzo Highsmith, that's somebody who, who's another part of the program, uh, former you know player who, who won a uh, championship at Miami under Howard Schnellenberger. You know, he's somebody else that uh, has a vast uh, experience at the NFL level. Uh, he could be somebody that is part of the package, you know, in, in terms of, of leadership at Miami. They tried to give him a position uh, previously, so he could be part of the equation as well. But uh, in the long run, I think, um, you know, they're, they're looking for their athletic director to have a good relationship with the head coach. And so I think this has to be one of those moves where they're sort of married together. Expectation hasn't always met reality, especially recently uh, with the hurricanes. And of course we're talking football more than anything else here. What kind of personality do you think is needed that could perhaps kind of unite the different constituencies down there and get people all headed in the right direction, so to speak? Yeah, well, listen, uh, Miami's a very tough place. You know, expectations are very high. Uh, what's gone on here on the, as far as the football program is concerned for the last two decades uh, has been a disappointment. Um, Miami was used to competing for championships. There's obviously a wealth of uh, recruiting talent in South Florida, you know, among the most uh, fruitful areas in terms of NFL talent. And it's just they haven't, you know, had the kind of success that most expect here. So they need somebody who can handle – uh, you know, from a personality perspective, handle big expectations, uh, be viewed as somebody who's respected in the community, who um, is going to hire the kind of coaches um, that that can have the kind of influence that you want locally, that can um, get players to come play for Miami amidst the struggles uh, that the program has had. So I think without question, um, you know, this person has to be somebody that's well liked, well respected and uh, can come in here right away and, and, and make, you know, an imprint um, on the community. We'll finish with the question we like to ask guys that are on the beat, uh, because you know it well. What would you do? Ooh, it's a great question. Um, you know, I, I ultimately think the football coach is the bigger priority here. As, as big a deal as the athletic director position is as well, I think this all comes down to making the, the right hire with the football coach. And assuming Manny Diaz is – done as the football coach here, uh, I think you have to go swinging for the fences. You need to go after a guy like Mario Cristobal at Oregon. Um, you need to go after, uh, you know, somebody like Lane Kiffin, who, who could probably handle the, 
the uh, from a personality perspective, the South Florida recruiting base and 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 the expectations. So, um, to me, those are the two guys that if you're going to uh, make a change in football coach, then you need to go get them. Um, if they're unavailable, then at that point, it, you know, it changes the game a little bit. Maybe you you hold on to Manny Diaz for another year, uh, but ultimately, whatever athletic director they bring in here has to be somebody who can attract a quality head football coach and can get this program headed in the right direction. A lot of changes potentially happening at Miami. It's going to be fascinating to follow along. We look forward to reading all your stuff, Manny, and thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me on.